Yo guys, um, I'm, it's Moses, I'm back again. I'm doing a bit of a dick around with the vehicle again. Been uh, making use of a UE4 feature called a uh, rotation camera leg kind of thing. And uh, it's it's a very good feature that U4 incorporate. It allows you to affect the speed of which the camera you have assigned to a spring arm will follow said pawn, right? Let me uh, open up open up this uh, debug thing, and I'll show you what what, what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so uh, the the HUD's gonna be the wrong size before Chris mentions that. I haven't I haven't changed that yet. I will do we'll do that tonight. Hopefully, I get the whole menu in there tonight. Let's just get the random random pawn up in there, right? Uh, let's get this one because I've I've got the textured version and stuff. Um, so yeah, so uh, driving around, there's a, well, I just went, I went vertical one second. So driving around is very uh, choppy, like turning and stuff, shakes the screen. Going up going up hills and stuff is where I can really demonstrate the difference between the rotation like and not. Um, but uh, you can just, you can see, like, it's all very, uh, it's all very nauseous to be all, in all honesty. But, um, okay, so this one, you can see that, that trace underneath the vehicle is a, the, is a trace displaying the speed of the camera like. You can, uh, one second, let me just get a better, bit of a better drive. You can see it's a bit less, a lot less shaky, not a bit less shaky, it's a lot less shaky. The, the drives look, the turns look a little bit more epic because, uh, as you turn, it takes a little bit slower for the camera to reach its target. So, uh, you actually physically see the ship drift, like it has a drift kind of like a aesthetic effect. Um, I mean, some people may, I prefer it, but some people may not. Um, opinions are welcome on that one. The value of the light can always be uh, worked around. In terms of performance, I've uh, tested it out in multiplayer, right? Which I'll do in a second for you guys now. And it didn't really seem to make much of a difference in terms of a uh, hindering gameplay or uh, the way I was uh, loading the the clients but um obviously when it comes to testing next week and stuff we can uh, we can look into that and see if uh, it has any big negative impacts I'll probably do some research or something um, but yeah no no it, it should be a bit more of a fluid drive now obviously when you go like vertical and stuff uh, like that just like that it's gonna it's gonna push you with you because at the end of the day you don't wanna you don't wanna put a vehicle vertical. And the way we are driving the vehicles aren't you know, ideal for real life vehicles. But this isn't a vehicle, it's a hovercraft at the end of the day. And um yeah, no, opinions are welcome, opinions are welcome. Uh the drifts are fun. Thank you.